И сейчас к нам приходит новый спикер. Новый спикер сейчас начнет выступать. Добрый день, это новый у нас спикер, представитель учебного заведения инструкции Шон Пол. Hello, Шон. Are you here? I'm here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yes, how are you today? Very good, thank you. So, yes. So, please, you are present your, your school. Super. We are waiting. Okay. Hello, my name's Sean. I'm uh, from, uh, well, calling you today from Turkey. I am um, the director of International British College, um, which is here in Fethiye in Turkey. It's um, lovely and sunny. Um, and we're looking forward to meeting people and uh, from all over the world who would like to learn English, especially children. Today is about young learners and teens. Um, I'm, uh, I've had about eight years experience living in Turkey as an English teacher. Um, and now I've set up my own business. Um, I'm aiming to uh, provide great uh, learning experiences uh, for everyone. Um, I believe in experiential learning. So allowing uh, children and adults to um, learn in a meaningful way and participate in lots of activities. Um, we've got a great summer program this year. So we've got a morning of academic workshops, moving into afternoon of um, sort of skills workshops, reading, writing, listening, speaking, um, as well as doing um, fun activities um, and excursions um, so people can enjoy their time in Fetier. Um, we've got activities like river rafting, horse riding, um, and water sports, things like that, for people to enjoy in their free time. Um, our daily program would normally consist of um, waking up about 8 a.m. in our hotel, going out to the beach to have some morning exercise activities and a swim, and then heading to back to the hotel for a quick uh, breakfast, shower, and then head on to the school bus to come to our campus um, where we would start our lessons. And then about five o'clock, we'd head back to the hotel um, for evening activities, dinner, uh, things like that. Um, we provide accommodation for our students in a hotel, along with a residential teacher. So every 10 students will have a residential teacher staying with them, and they will take part in evening activities, supervise swimming and beach activities, and going with the students on excursions. So it's like having a little parent with you, but they're an English teacher as well. So to keep modeling English, it's very important the children have English um, all the time. Our classes are open from seven-year-olds to 11-year-olds and then 12 to 16-year-olds. And then we have um, students that are 16 plus two. Um, we're looking forward to um, work with everyone and anyone. So um, from Russian speaking countries um, to Arabic speaking countries, um, anyone who is willing to learn um, will settle in with us. There's some pictures now of the accommodation there in the background. Um, if there's um, any individuals or agencies uh, that are wanting to contact with us, um, obviously we have a meeting uh, schedule uh, set up. So please uh, join um, my calendar and I'll be willing to speak with you. Um, thank you for listening. Before I go, I'm going to show you a quick video of our um, uh, winter camp that we just had recently um, here in Fetier. One moment, let me just share my screen. Maybe you use headphones now, that's why it's, we cannot hear you. Because we can't hear the sound, we can only see the video.
Very beautiful atmosphere here in your school. Very nice. Uh, uh, winter camp I just had. Did you manage to hear it? I hope so. Okay. No. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so that's it from IBC. Uh, we look forward to seeing you for some summer adventures. Um, we believe in meaningful uh, learning um, with academic and sort of extrinsic and um, activities and experiential learning. Okay, any qu uh, when do we do questions, Sergey? Now? Right, right now, yes. Okay. Uh, what, what is the price? What is the average price? How much um, students need to pay? Okay, so <laughs> we have a package price of 2,000 euros, um, and that covers everything. So your accommodation, your... Um, Tri trips, um, uh, food, uh, transport to and from the uh, hotel at uh, the airport. So everything is um, covered. The children just need to bring a little bit of spending money with them if they wish to buy an ice cream at the beach, something like that. Do they need to get visa or it's visa free now? Like um, for uh, I believe for Belarus and Ukraine and Russia, uh, the uh, it's visa free. So you're allowed to come and stay for three months in Turkey without a visa. So the children mm -hmm. don't need a visa. That's um, very simple. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is the first date when they can arrive? Like so, we are open for summer camp from the 31st of May up until the 4th of September. So we have two weekly increments. You can book for two weeks or four weeks um, across the summer period. So the dates are very flexible for you. I know at the moment there is a bit of difficulty with um, people coming from Russia um, to Turkey, but we're open to all countries. We, we are happy to receive um, if you can find a way around the um, sort of border uh, issues and flight issues from Russia. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, now I will speak in Russian. So yes, they Super, still thank explain you. the если хотите поехать, обращайтесь к нам, мы поможем организовать вашу поездку. Это отличное учебное заведение. Если хотите, записывайтесь на консультацию со спикером обязательно. Он вас проконсультирует, как поехать. So, do you recommend to go this year during COVID? What do you think? Um, great well, idea. We have measures in place at school to make sure that everyone is COVID safe. Um, if, if people are willing to travel, then why not? Um, this year, next year, um, it's all up to personal um, opinion on the virus, if you feel safe and, and things like that. I mean, we will try our best to keep everybody safe. Um, we're working with the government um, all the time in following their regulations, and we have regular inspections. We've had two inspections in the last month to check that we're up to standard. Um, so, yes, we are um, maintaining a safe environment um, so, and our hotels are COVID safe too. So, um, everything is in place to try and make it as safe as possible. So if your, uh, if your opinion is that, um, traveling by aircraft and you feel safe, then no problem, please come. Okay. Yeah. I, I highly recommend, I think it's great that Turkey is open now. Many countries are closed. You need to get visa and in Turkey, we can just join you without any visa, just book and go. Okay, great. Thank you very much for this presentation. Thank you, everybody. It's nice to meet you all and see you all very soon. Yes.